All right, so um, <clears throat> I'm a little bit of a comic book geek, and uh, my story's all about how I got to be buddies with, um, with Dean Haspiel. You guys didn't gasp. Um, <laughs> so if you're into comic books, Dean Haspiel is kind of a big deal in the underground comic book world. So he's kind of a big deal. He's like a big fish in like not even a pond. It's like whatever things below ponds are called. But he's a really cool guy. And I grew up into superheroes, but when I was in my early 20s, like I, like 21, started getting into underground comic books and uh, <clears throat> got a copy of this anthology that this thing, the Small Press Expo, puts out. And so this guy, Dean Haspiel's work, and he has this character, Billy Dogma, whatever, I won't geek out on it, but I really liked it. And I started drawing comics around then, and I sent him some of my comics, and he sent me like a really nice postcard back with the drawing of his character on it, like all inks and everything, super cool. And this guy lives in Brooklyn, um, <clears throat> so I have a good friend, I'm from Kansas, a good friend from Kansas, an architect in New York, she lived in Brooklyn too at the time, this is like 1999, I'm living in D.C., and I go up to visit her, and we're at some bar somewhere, and I pick up some free, um, you know, newspaper that has a bunch of comics in it, and one of Dean's comics is on the cover, and I'm like, yo, this is Dino's comic, I think that guy's really cool, and my friend knows that I'm like this, and she's really freaky about John Lennon, so she gets it, and um, so she's like, yeah, that's cool, and so, I, and this is the part I can't believe I did this. There's a number of things I can't believe I did in this story, but this is the most unbelievable to me. We go back to her apartment in Brooklyn, and I was like, maybe Dean's in the phone book. And uh, so we opened, this is like 99, this is the time when people were like, wow, you got a cell phone? You know, it's like people didn't have them then. So we look up Dean in the phone book, and he's there, and she's like, that isn't very far from my house. And I'm just like, let's call him. <laughs> and he sent me a postcard. And um, <laughs> so we called Dean, people call him Dino. We called Dino up, and he's like, he's like, yeah, come over, it's cool. And so we go over to this place. <laughs> And we hang out for the afternoon, and there's a bunch of other like comic artists there, and he's showing us his studio, he gives me a bunch of free comics, and he's got this really cute girlfriend, but he definitely thinks my friend Kim's hot. And that's a part of why I'm getting to hang out longer. I know this, like, and it's fine. I mean, she's, she is, like, she's really cute. It's like, it's nice, gets me on track. And um, so we hang out with him for a while, and he's unbelievably nice, and then we leave, and it's like, wow, you know, I just became buddies with, like, this guy I really look up to. So later that night we go out, we meet up with some other friends of mine, and this has nothing to do with anything, but I just like to tell this piece of it. We go to this club, and there's like nine of us, and we're all like just recently graduated from college, and we all look like, you know, dorky and nerdy like me, and we go up to this club door, and the owner's like, uh, five bucks a head to get in, and we're all like reaching for our wallets, and then he says, unless, are, are you the ones with Buko? Now, do I look like I'm with Buko? <laughs> um, but I just, I, and I really, I said it like this. I was like, yeah, we're with Buko. And, uh, and he, he turns around and he's like, hey, these are the ones with Buko. And so he's like, I'll go and breathe. <laughs> so we're in there, we're hanging out, and we're dancing around, and I'm getting pretty drunk. And when I get drunk, I like to start asking girls what movie star I look like. Um, there's a correct answer. Can anyone say it real quick? Robert Downey Jr. Can you say it too? Over here? Robert Downey Jr. is the correct answer. Um, and if I push them long enough, they'll say it. I mean, they, sometimes you have to give them a lot of guesses, but um, they'll say it. And so here's the unbelievable part. We're at this club, and we're dancing, and fucking Dino's there. Like, we just run into Dino, and he's like, hey, guys, how's it going? I'm like, Dino, we're saying out this afternoon. He's like, yeah, great to see you. We're going to this party in Williamsburg. You should come. I think, I don't know if it's Williamsburg, because I don't really remember New York neighborhoods, but there was warehouses, does that sound right? Anyway, <laughs> we go to this party, and uh, I've just had just started drinking like two minutes, was that the one? Okay, sweet. Um, and so I make myself this really strong drinks, and I'm starting to ask a lot of girls what movie star I look like, and Dino thinks this is all really funny, and my friends are laughing at me, and so we, we're, we all leave the party together, and um, I, we tell Dino we can give him a ride home, because my friend has a car, and I had just been talking to these two girls out front, and they got the Robert Downey Jr. thing really fast, I swear. And so we're going away, and they start blowing me kisses. And, and I'm like, you don't need to blow me. I can't believe I did this. This is the third thing I can't believe I did. It's the calling the lie in this. I was like, you don't have to blow me kisses. And I run like half a block up to them. I lay a huge one on both these girls back to back. And I jump back in the car, and we drive away. And I can go to any comic book convention I want from now on. And Dino always thinks I'm cool. <laughs>